Now you had the ice cream bar, and, mm-hmm. and and somebody that I think would would surprise you at how well they hit that ice cream bar. They'd be first in line probably several times, and that's Cleolanda Hawk, and she's the organist player for the for the self appointed Reverend of Seahawk Positivity here, mm-hmm. uh, Reverend Moses. Reverend, how you doing tonight? Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> it is I, the self appointed Reverend Moses of the St. Paul Allen Church of Seahawk Positivity. How is everyone this evening? Doing quite well, yeah. very well, yeah. And we're wonderful, great. wonderful. I hear you are all once again surrounded by beverages on a Friday night. <laughs> no surprise, right? No, no, no surprise here. No surprise here. I pray for you all. Now, if you would like to go ahead and pick up that desired beverage or sin of your choice, I would like to get a little church up here if I may. Let's do it. Friends, it is so good to be back on these wonderful airwaves to share with you the glorious power of Seahawks positivity. And this week, once again, joined by my church organist, and she does love ice cream, Miss Cleolanda Hawk. <laughs> Cleolanda, honey, we want the funk. We got to have the funk. Please, honey, give us some funk. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> She's got a little cash here at Steve this week. You know what that does. You know Matt knows what that means. I know he's had that fever a few times himself. Okay, sweetie, that's good. Go ahead and take a break. I appreciate that. You, you do so well. You do such a wonderful job. And no, no, honey, nobody wants to see you in that Catwoman outfit again. And neither does Brian. That's nightmare fuel. Just go dust off the collection plates like I asked you. And Black no not a good look wine. for Cleolanda Hogg. That's not, that's not her, her forte. Yeah, it's not her forte at all. It really isn't. She just needs to clean off the collection plates and stay off the sacrificial wine because we got to keep all we can. It's playoff time. Friends, as we gather in various stages of sobriety, we must continue to raise our voices and spirits high in the one true power that shall continue to glow with the light of a thousand suns, a power that gives us home field advantage like no other, a power that gives us, the tough man, the ability to rise up and make the ground shake and opponents quake in the presence. And that power is Seahawk positivity. Yes. It is the postseason for many, the end of the road. But for us, uh, it's truly just the beginning. And as we continue to walk down this road, there is only one true guide to lead us to the promised land. And one true power is going to guide us every step of the way. Reading from the book of the NFL postseason, chapter 1, verses 2 to 12. So it came to pass, the black cats from the land of NASCAR, they would set upon the land to feast at the table of victory. But they would find no food for them here. For the power of Seahawk positivity did lift up its voice loud and clear. The walls did tremble and the cats did shake. And the cats were then sent back from whence they came, defeated and declawed. There'd be no food for them here, only pain and disappointment. Their season would end, but ours is just beginning. Yes, this is the good Lord. Praise Lord. This is just the beginning. And we shall not let a bunch of black cats cross in our path stop us in any way. For the power is too strong for them and it's too strong within all of us. Put your hands in the air if you can feel the massive power of Seahawk positivity within us. Put your hands up high like like you almost have your favorite beverage and the waitress can't see you. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's a travesty. Raise them high. Are they right? They're up there. They're up there. Yeah, yeah. I can, I can feel them right. Do you feel the power of Seahawk positivity running through you? Let me hear it. I'm in, not so loud. I'm in. I'm, I'm in. in. If you believe in the power of Seahawk positivity, take it to the promised land. Can I hear an I'm in, not so loud? I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Yes, and if you believe in the power of Seahawks positivity to rise like a mighty voice on Saturday night and take those cats from Carolina in their shoes. But here, and I'm in nice and loud. I'm in. Oh, keep, keep your litter handy because those cats are about to make a big old mess of themselves all over the plate. Can you feel it? Yes. I mean, this Carolina team, this quarterback scared of a little kid warming up his arm. He should be ashamed of himself. <laughs> And their linebacker, Lee, Lee Cook, Lee Cook, Lee, 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 Lee Cook, I don't know. So <laughs> Brian, Brian Thompson or something. This is, it's not European football, son. This is the NFL. Spell your last name right. <laughs> My brethren, if we lift up our hearts, our minds, and our voices to the one true power to lead us in the promise land, we know that we will indeed send those little black kittens back home without mittens and without a victory because of the power of Seahawks positivity. Cleolanda, come on over, honey. Take us out like you know you can. That's right. Go for it, my brethren. Go for it. Let the power of the city work. It's not positive. This has been your self appointed member of Moses. I've been sitting in the church of Seahawks positivity. Thank you, Larson. 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 Go, Hawks. It's time to peace. Wow. That's all you can say as well. Hey.